to focus on Romania and whether you really made a difference, you, you were a controversial figure. You certainly uh, took on some of the most powerful people in your country. But if one looks at the state of Romania when you left the job and you were fired by the government eventually, uh, when you left, Transparency International thought that Romania was actually performing worse. Uh, it, it's important to say that also the mentality and the, the entire society can contribute to, to decrease the level of corruption. You had a certain reputation in Romania for, uh, let's say, pushing the envelope in terms of investigative practice. You, it seems, were prepared to use the intelligence services in a covert fashion to dig dirt on some of the suspects that you were going after. And in the uh, Romanian constitutional court, some of your methods were called into question. Do you regret some of the methods you used? No, it's not about the methods. It's about a working arrangement that we had. But at that moment, based on the legislation, we receive information from the secret services and we use those information to open the cases. But it's important to say and to clarify that our investigations were made by the prosecutors and by the police officers and no one from the uh, officials from the service sec uh, secret service did not work in our cases only the well, prosecutors i'll be honest and with you the police officers I, i'll be honest with you I, I i was very struck by a former uh, romanian prime minister mr Taricianu, saying that under your watch the anti-corruption agency uh, had not respected legal frameworks had become corrupt themselves and had become uh, a part of the political fight in Romania, some critics called you uh, a part of Securitate 2.0 because of your cooperation with the security services. Again, I put it to you that if you bring those methods to your Europe-wide prosecutor role, you're going to make many people very unhappy. All our cases that we worked in Romania were checked and verified in the courts. So, at the European level, we will work according to the legislation, as I did it in Romania all the time. And everything that the prosecutors did in the cases were checked in the court by judges. But with respect, so the, constitutional, respect the Constitutional Court in January uh, 2019 concluded that you had created a parallel justice system existing outside the rules imposed by Romania's constitution. Are you going to... There is no any decision of constitutional court saying that I created a parallel state in Romania. Well, I'm just I'm reading from one of their rulings of January 2019. Now, I know that ultimately charges against you were dropped, but the, nonetheless, it's a very serious allegation that you created a parallel justice system. The question really is, do you believe that in prosecuting corruption and fraud that the ends justify the means if you read that decision based on which the constitutional court revoked me i should say that i uh, made a complaint to the european court for human rights and in this year in may the the, the, the judgment of the european court of human rights said that in that case my rights were broken so I don't know which kind of uh, decision you you caught it, but I can say that in entire my activity, I respected it. I respected all the time the constitution. I respected the procedural criminal code and all the national law. But so when it comes I to when it, saying, I'm just asking you a simple question now. When, when, when it comes to rooting out corruption, do you believe, as a an aggressive prosecutor, that the ends do justify the means? Now, all the time in my activity, I respected the law, and this is the only principle that I will have in the consideration, right. and we should have in the consideration all the time, let, to let. respect the law.